goes, it's written piano in the orchestra. <laughs> so there's a little bit of a myth that the soprano will come and just like go, Wah! and then the orchestra will be, you know? And I'm happy this is not what you're doing, and I think we could convey the courage and this, the chisel mode um, more by accepting to slow down a little bit. And not trying to go in volume at all. And not trying to go in volume at all. And not trying to go in volume at all. <laughs> Try to go in the stretch of the line, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. So let's start right here the aria this time, okay? So, or maybe you want to give us just where it's becoming, I feel, maestoso, which is the compie mi um, sfato suo, yeah. It's all from this here, yeah. Compie mi sfato suo! A more maestoso yadam papam and compien mi sfato suo than compien mi sfato suo pam. Call that F natural. Yeah, yeah, you, you do it this way. Okay. is to get more importance to the upbeats. So, or sai, or sai, sing through them instead, and especially when you're kefo, because yeah. kefo, yeah. kefo, kefo. <laughs> and a, lo a slower tempo will help that. Okay. So let's do it just from the or sai. <laughs> hanging too much on the honore. Okay. Not only does it, does it contradict the Italian, but most importantly is that, that those notes are absolutely not money notes. Those notes are absolutely not money notes. <laughs> those notes are absolutely not money notes. <laughs> what we want to hear is your F sharp, your G, your A. The low stuff is like, come on. It's very wrong when they say that you don't have your low notes, the more you have your high notes, it's wrong. In the bel canto, you have to have the chest notes, the passage, and the top notes. It is what they call bel canto as a school. It's a way. The only way to sing. The only way to sing. The only way to sing. That's the way the old Lili Neymans, who were German, the old Malibran, Pasta, they used to sing that way. And they had chest notes. So, no, no, if you do no, you're wasting energy on not a money note, obviously. <laughs> Thank you. 
good. Thank you, Michelle. The, why? That's great. Why do you do the crescendo? Let's find the motivation though, because now it just feels like I'm starting a bit less and I'm gonna crescendo and it's gonna sound nice. So I think then to a car, it's always on car, this. So this is your, it can be a variety of things, but it's the outpouring of love for your father. It's actually the, the outpouring of love even for Octavio. You can add many, but it's Basically what I'm asking you is to think of something which in return will give us more contrast with him. And not just like a mezzo forte-ish to forte-ish, which, you know, is nice, but not yeah. meaningful. <laughs> So here's one thing, it could be more inside, you know, like Don giusto furo Padam, padam, padam Don giusto mm -hmm. So it gives you more authority, basically, without having to sing fortissimo <laughs> suggestion for you. To okay. You're opening it up too early, I find. So then we reach a plateau and this is what does makes it less expressive than it could be. Sure. But because you have yes, so it's ramenta la piaga. Okay. So, so three, okay. Three, four. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so, so. Think that there's a huge stretch there. This again with your voice. Don't try to be too angry with your words. Think legato, legato. Bravi! Wonderful! Your most handsome notes, okay? And now you let it go a little bit. Uh, guardo, yeah. Guardo. Try to just give it just the full beauty without cutting it off so abruptly. Okay. Volgete a lui lo sguardo e vedrete come sta. Tutto dice, io cielo, io ardo, io è mio, pietà, pietà. I just want to hear you sing on A. Ah. Ah. to start piano the first note to be careful, especially in Mozart, not to feel that you give us all the goods. So when you do Idol mio It's like in your face a bit, like here's my voice on F, here's my voice on G. Idol mio pietà, pietà. It's actually very interesting for Guglielmo because it's actually very masculine. And Good. Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah. And this time was great because you also were a little bit more rhythmically on the non alien Because I love that color that you do with more nasal. More nasal. More nasal. But then I don't feel that you're using it as much for the love. Uh -huh. You know, so. Inna, 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 amorato, Orlando. Good. Even if you want to be direct on Foco, uh, it's actually now I hear. Son di foco miei sospiri. I hear a little bit this way, the very, 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 and it deprives us from your best area of voice, which is normal for a baritone, which is D. So. Son di foco beti. A let time to open it up instead of just getting um, decaying. Son di foco miei sospiri. Son di bronzo i suoi desiri. So just from the toy 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 da via. Good. And then. Good. 
So, what you want to say is that you're... Hi, Javin Talakauza, you're just reflecting on it, or what is... Because you sang it really piano. Mm -hmm. So, what was the reason for it? Yeah, I feel like he's still mulling over the words, that he still hasn't quite formulated the thought yet. Great, okay. So, I, I love that. But then, the orchestra's reaction, reaction is forte. Sure. So, in the accompagnati like this of Mozart, we have to think of the text, but we have also to make it work as a dialogue with the orchestra. So, because after Cosa Sento, it's still forte in the orchestra, so if you are piano, it sort of doesn't make sense. Mozart already made the choice for you that it should be a louder reaction. Okay, yeah. So, you can start at piano just until causa, but then pa -dum, pa -dum, causa, okay, right? Sure. Okay. I just feel the causa, causa sento, in quella ciò io carea. I just feel the causa, causa sento. We forget the expressivity of the consonants too. We talk so much in Italian about vowels. We forget the expressivity of the consonants too. We talk so much in Italian about vowels. We forget the expressivity of the consonants too. Yeah, that's it. Tutto giovan 
Vedrò mentre io sospiro felice un servo. This is an opportunity for real legato. You are cutting up your line by going too much in un. You know, felice un servo, felice un servo, c'è un servo, c'è un servo. Felice un servo mio, felice un servo mio. That's it. Sorry, mentre io sospiro, da 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 And I don't hear it really, it's not that you have to mimic exactly it, but it should be felt in your phrasing. That's much better. But I think you can also be more exaggerated in your piano and forte. That will help him. Great. And, and that's... It's better. I know your A's sounds great, but we have to... It's not so much to think of it piano, by the way, it's just to get a bit more weight on the other one. Getto, getto. Pedro Fernando Amore, Good. Good. Now stay, stay. 
more. I want to know because it's so gorgeous and so rich, and I've been saying this for the past 90 minutes, don't give all the goods. You definitely gave all the goods all the time. <laughs> and they're great. I mean, bring them. But, you know, you know, but I want to know what it is, you know, just for this... Okay, so... It's hard to stay there. It feels like in the medium you revert to try and making it more like, eh? yeah, no need. Yo, so no orchestra. Yo, so no orchestra. <laughs> Yo, so no orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> You see, we have this, this maybe this false idea. I think in some time in history, I would say maybe in the past 30, 40 years, that we, we, I personally think we get confused with even voice in every register with singing everything the same volume. Even voice in every register mm -hmm. with singing everything the same volume. Volume. Even voice in every register mm -hmm. with singing everything the same volume. <laughs> it's very wrong when they say that you don't have your low notes, the more you have your high notes. It's wrong. In the bel canto, you have to have the chest notes, the passage, and the top notes. It is what they call bel canto is a school. <coughs> The way, the only way to sing. That's the way the old Lili Lehmanns, who were German, the old Malibran, Pasta, they used to sing that way. And they had chest tones. And I believe that the same way as Mozart, oh, I bring him back, sorry, did Come in a weak register for a Fior di Ligi. In a weak register for a Fior di Ligi. In a weak register for a Fiorilici. <laughs> and nowadays we try to do Mescoglio! In a weak register for a Fiorilici. In a weak register for a Fiorilici. In a weak register for a Fior di Ligi. <laughs> it's the same thing. I feel that maybe Verdi wants to tell us that she's a grande dame, but she's at a moment in her life that it starts to be more mature, but she's also unsure and scared. So you should be more scared and not scare us with your low C sharp. That's what I mean. Okay? So uh, I'm sorry, I made a big story, but it's just to say sometimes we just need to get your same position as your F sharp and try to just keep there, and it's gonna go a bit lower, and it's gonna make you more fragile, more human, I find. Mm -hmm. So... Oh. 
then you're offering it to your beloved. <laughs> because it's a bit <laughs> so I understand I'm sorry I'm sorry to tell you but any so think more like yeah, yeah let's do that. so um think more like um question yeah right yeah in this more vertical than this horizontal yes
people Maritina, but here I don't really agree with that technique that you've cut the note and yeah, then he has to put it. Exactly. I think the best way is to indicate in the life of your high notes where you should put it. Okay. I think you can dare letting it open up more. You start the note just a little too like, that's my voice, ah, and you have nowhere to go. What I want to hear is your last me Because this is where we have to be careful still to do the same thing as you just did. And I want you to go and reach somewhere, but not reach it there. Direction. Just imagine that you're just launching it like... Bravissimo! Bravissimo!